Hello friends, I'm Sunan Subramaniam here, Senior Research Analyst from Choice Security Booking Private Limited and today the commodities that I'll be talking about is going to be a mix of both agro and non-agro sector and I'll be majorly focusing on three commodities and to talk about the first commodity that I'll be talking on is on gold and gold prices is currently trading choppy in the last couple of days. This has majorly come after the reopening of the global markets as well as the Indian market which has kept major upside momentum. However, looking ahead, we can expect that the MCA's gold futures to remain bullish as the reopening has also invited greater buying for the gold jewelry in the domestic market as the marriage season has uh, picked up pace in India. Moreover, the government restrictions is currently around 25 people per uh, marriage which is a clear factor why people have started uh, buying gold jewelry for the marriage purpose. So to talk about the best buying levels, I would recommend buying around at 49,100 levels in M6 gold August futures for the uh, keeping a stop loss at 48,800 levels and upside target of 49 700 levels so it is a good buying uh, opportunity for m6 gold futures who's looking for gold uh, in uh, for the coming days and in this week also we can expect the price to move up to that level and if anyone wants to uh, have a positional basis or a long term gold buying for investment purpose he can buy even at the current level for an upside target of 52000 levels which i'm expecting by this end of this one or by maximum by 15th of july so that is the positive outlook in gold the second commodity that i will talk about is on crude oil and crude oil prices has shown on a very a lifetime high level movement uh, especially after the reopening of the global markets high demand from china and industry reopening in the us and the uh, european countries has uh, brought a very strong support moreover the american stock price has witnessed a decline on a week on week basis by 2.1 million barrels per day which is another clear factor why we are expecting the us crude inventories to witness a decline so to talk about the best buying levels in M6 crude futures, we can expect a buy on dip strategy which is uh, around that MCX uh, July contract around 5100 levels for an upside target of 5250 levels and keeping a stop loss around that 5050 or 5040 levels. So that is a good buying strategy in M6 gold, uh, M6 crude futures. And third and the last commodity that I have to touch upon is on Guarzi. Uh, although the fundamentals of Goa seed is uh, expected to remain bullish on a longer duration, however, with positive monsoon factors in uh, various regions of India, as monsoon has started to be witnessed uh, even in the central regions of India, covering the city of Mumbai and other regions in Maharashtra, uh, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, and all, and expected to cover uh, the northern states such as Punjab, Rajasthan by the end of this week. We are expecting correction in prices as uh, NCTS Goa seed July futures. So one would uh, I would uh, one will go for a selling strategy in uh, Goa seed futures and I would recommend a sell on rise strategy around 4,200 levels. One can maintain a stop loss around 4,300 levels for the downside target of 4,000 levels. So to talk about the strategy in Goa seed, we are bearish for the coming week ahead. And this is a, just a correction strategy as the overall fundamentals is still bullish due to lower stocks and expectancy of decline in sowing in Goa seed uh, for this year compared to the previous year. So, so far uh, that's all from my side thank you all and i wish you all a very happy trading week